This is a $10 Boba Fett, and this is a $200 Boba Fett. They both come with arm printing and great details all around, so what makes this one 20 times the price? From a glance, the only thing that really stands out is the inclusion of the side cape or pauldron. This piece alone goes for $20 to $30. Aside from that though, there doesn't seem to be too many differences. The helmet changed slightly, with the main difference being the new one doesn't have the seam line going up the middle of the helmet like the old one, and the jetpack is of course the same as well. So then what makes this figure so much more expensive? Well, it only came in one set back in 2015, that being the Ultimate Collector Series Slave 1. The set itself retailed for the same amount of money that this fig costs right now, $200. The other one just came out in a $16 set, the Boba Fett mech. Okay, so the age and rarity is a big difference. What about the figures themselves? Taking off all the parts we've already talked about, the biggest change is the face. Both are exclusive, with the newer one having scars and facial hair, which doesn't really make sense because this armor is from before he fell into the Sarlacc pit, and the older one just has a plain white smirking face. The arm printing is the biggest draw of these figures, and each has their upsides. I prefer the shoulder pads on the older figure, but I have to give the edge to the newer one when it comes to the gauntlets. I just wish LEGO had given this guy dark red to match the mech, and also Return of the Jedi, because we've never gotten a Boba Fett with his red gauntlets from Episode 6, so this would have been a great opportunity, especially considering they went through the hassle of creating new prints. The torsos are very similar, the new one just has a little less detail on the shirt, and curved print for the ammo pouches and the scuff marks are slightly different. On the back, the differences are a little bit more noticeable. The newer print is more accurate, although I do like the more subtle gray wrinkles on the old one. The legs are very similar as well, with the lines being a little bit cleaner on the new one. Another thing I want to mention is the yellow on the knees and shoulder pads for the older figure is metallic while the new one is flat. I like the shape of the knee pads better on the old fig, but the boots definitely look better on the new one. So are these changes enough to justify spending 20 times more on the UCS version? Definitely not, but I do miss the pauldron on the new one. I'm really happy that LEGO is making highly detailed versions of popular characters more accessible in cheaper sets. Now we just have to wait for that Captain Rex microfighter. If you made it this far, consider liking the video and subscribing if you want to see more. I have a huge building series on the Citadel Tower from the Clone Wars going on right now, so if you're interested in that, I'll have a playlist on the screen. Otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.